So I haven't been posting a lot and I've been working on my game room. So I figured I'd give you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm doing so far in the game room. First thing, I got this new sign up and this new sign lights up. <laughs> so as soon as I press it, it goes through a whole bunch of other different colors and stuff like that. But that's like one of the colors. So if we go into the room, it's still bare, but you see it's a different color. I made it lighter blue. So I got to put more stuff back on the wall. I moved the shelf over there. I got this display case right now that shows all my handhelds on display. There's an LED light in there, but the batteries are dead. This thing drains battery like crazy. I gotta fix that. Uh, computer desk still the same. Uh, got some of the stuff up. Still got my display case with all my rare video games for Xbox and so forth. The Operation Darkness is a game that I'm currently playing. Uh, been 3D printing. Well, first, before I go into those, this is the new wall. Uh, I got a tall, uh, pretty much display, a bookcase. The case is almost my height. I'm 6'5". That's around 6 feet, or something, maybe a little over 6 feet. And I got the two long ones to try to get into the design. I also have been making these little 3D printing, these little signs. So this is Sega. So this is going to be the Sega section. So I got the Dreamcast, uh, Sega Saturn, and then down below I have... Um, uh, what's that? The Genesis. Over here is my Nintendo. These are my PS1 games. I slowly started collecting for PS1, but you know, whatever. Uh, I have my Nintendo sign that I made, 3D printed. And like I said, I got my PS1 game, but GameCube, Switch, and down there I got my Super Nintendo. And then I put my N64 games across the middle because I got a lot of space, but I figured it was perfect. It actually fixed. All my all my N64 games, so I can actually put a couple more. I probably can put two or three more into this little row right there. And then if I come back, this is my so this is the larger part of the collection. I got my PS3 all the way down. I got my PS2 all the way down, and then my Xbox and 360 collection, which I'm working on, going all the way down. Uh, I got PS5 at the bottom, and then also I just pre-printed this last night. This got to be painted. This is my Xbox sign for the Xbox section, and then we'll do the PS2. Back to over here. So the consoles are the same, but I'm repositioned them. So as you can see, I don't have the Xbox on that side no more. I put the Xbox on this side right below the PS5. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted the space for the new bookcase and the PS5 and the Xbox. All, you know, they're high power gaming. So I have everything going through. The wire, my wiring is a little bit better than it was before, but it still ain't the best. But... So I have the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. They're all going to, since they're all using ultra high speed HDMI wires, which feeds through here, and they all come to this new splitter. This new splitter is an 8K high speed, ultra high speed switch, uh, uh, HDMI switcher. It can do 4K at 100, 120 hertz. And then back of this TV, there's a spot where you can have, you know, 120 hertz. So I have them both going to the splitter, and they split here. You know which one I want to use, and they take another H, uh, another ultra ultra HDMI wire, and it goes into the TV. So I also have this where I still gotta fix all these wires that go into the TV for the top, and then at the bottom, I put another one with this is these plugs and stuff. This is still needs to be fixed a little bit, but you know you get what direction I'm trying to go. I'm trying to be more. I'm trying to keep more of the newer console on one HDMI cord. You know, try to keep things more streamlined. Then I put my Xbox 360 up here. The PS3 is supposed to be here, but I took that out to get service because, of course, the power supply went. And then my also, also my uh, my controller is out to be in service as well since I was getting service. But I'm trying to put so the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are on this switcher box, the original one. So they're going to be running off that. And, yeah, the rest of the console is still the same, N64 and stuff like that. I got to clean up that. On this side, this is empty right now. This is going to be for expansion in case I want to add more games or whatever. Right now, it's going to be just for expansion. This wall is going to go back to how it was. It may have controls displayed. It's going to be displayed differently. It's going to be a different design once I figure out the design. I also got an idea, but that's going to be different. The closet now is totally different. So, if I go in here, now I added power to this closet. So, I have a new mini fridge. And, of course, this new mini fridge... It's already filled with beer. It's keeping it ice cold. 
uh, my printer, I have an HDMI wire going from here all the way to my computer where it's going to be. So I print everything in here, do all my business in here. My 3D printer, I made these shelves. So I have my 3D printer, has my disc cleaning machine, disc cleaning equipment. And then I also have my stuff for the games I'm selling and stuff like that. Cause is still a little bit of a wreck, but it's a little bit more organized. My airsoft stuff, I moved to a different location. And yeah, that's the room right now. Still a little messy, but it's definitely coming along. I'm going to have the full reveal and the full game room tour once I'm done in another couple of weeks. But this is the room so far.